This is a 1080p video sample of the Sony Xperia Z on 9 megapixel instead of the full resolution. And we're going to compare it to the 13 megapixel resolution in just a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're going to check the autofocus here. And it continuously autofocuses very fast. And this is a 1080p video sample with HDR on in the same location, same lighting conditions. I'm going to check the autofocus. Autofocus very quick. And this is a 1080p video sample with the HDR included on the Sony Xperia Z. And the one thing that I've noticed with this, this is dark conditions out here right now. You can see it's very cloudy. So the HDR video should really help with this. But if you've noticed here, it does have some problems with macro focusing. And even if it's on something like this where the iPhone 5 wouldn't really have much problems going in on a macro focus situation you can see that it does not focus very well and there's no tap to focus feature on the Xperia Z so if you look here it will not focus on this but if you come closer to the tree like in a larger situation it can macro focus very well it just doesn't do very well distinguishing in between on thin branches and things like that where other phones have been able to do that without a problem but even even if you get really close it will not focus even if you get on a branch or something that's a little bigger it still has a very hard time focusing unless it's a very large object But let's see how much difference an HDR video makes when you go towards the light here and look at exposure compensation. Now the Xperia Z can shoot 1080p HDR video and you can see the HDR on and off on each side and I really didn't notice that much difference really. I mean there's a little bit of a contrast difference there and uh, the detail maybe there's a little bit more but I really don't see a significant difference in the HDR mode being on so what do you guys think? I really don't see much difference at all. You can see it trying to adapt to the different lighting conditions though. But this 13 megapixel shooter is definitely pretty good and you can see under bad lighting conditions or dark conditions it does take some pretty good pictures and I think it does do well with low light photography or indoor photography. But where it really shines is when you take it outside into a brighter more say favorable conditions. It does pick up pretty good amounts of detail, but for a 13 megapixel shooter, you would think it would pick up a little bit more detail. If you look at these shots, they are a little soft, especially a detail around the edges, but I think that the color replication is pretty good on this Sony Xperia Z and this 13 megapixel sensor, and I think it does a pretty good job I think it's on par with the really good 8 megapixel shooters out there, but don't expect miracles from this, but it does look pretty good. So I don't think you'll be that disappointed at all in this 13 megapixel camera. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you out with more 1080p footage. 
please subscribe to my channel today and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and please watch my full Xperia Z review for more on the Xperia Z.